Hey guys, just picking up a cake here. So we're just going over, um, it's planting season and um, we're just kind of working away at stuff right now. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So I'll pop the truck here, put that cake in there and pop the truck. Okay, seriously, the city needs to make these parking spots a lot wider. I mean, come on. I mean, sure, it's fine for these little compact cars, but when you got a dually, it's a royal pain in the butt. But anyway, let's get on the road. So today, we're going to be going over back to the farm. And we're going to be picking up the disc harrow. And we're going to be going and uh, doing some disking on the last oil seed field. Um, so that's the plan for that, because it's ready to go. Um, I do oil seed for cover crops. Oh shoot, I, I, I took a wrong turn. Darn it. Wait, is that, is that a driveway? Nope, that's a road. All right, perfect. Bear with me here, guys. So, um, anyway, I got my employee uh, planting the field right in front of us here. And he's doing corn. We're doing a lot of corn this year. So that's the plan. Thinking about it, I should have hung a right there, but oh well. Sorry guys, I don't have my GPS set up and I don't have my map book. So, whoa, there goes my employee right there. <laughs> Oh well. He came out of nowhere too. <laughs> Alright, so we're just kind of rolling through here. I'm going to be hanging right up here. I wonder where he's going. Whoa. Hold on. Kind of oversteered there. So yeah, that 9RX and that planter's mine. He's uh, he's supposed to be running that. I don't know where he's going. All right. So we're coming up on a 45 zone, so we'll slow her down. Uh oh, I hear a train. We're gonna have to stop for a train too. That's a lot of grain being hauled right there, man. That's a lot of grain. Oh, there's the end right there. Well, that was a long train, man. gates go up all right all right so we're just coming up on the farm here not too far now So we're just going to pull up here. So this is the farm. Family's been farming in this area for well over 200 years. And uh, we've really kind of grown to be a, quite a big operation. We got a 9R and a 9RX, which are the prides of my fleet. So there's the 9R. Actually, I made a boo-boo. 
I gotta take that cake into the house. So we we'll gotta deal with that. Tomorrow is my little girl's seventh birthday. So we're gonna have a big party and everything like that. Which, to be honest with you guys, I'm not really looking forward to. <laughs> Don't tell my wife I said that. <laughs> but just something about having a bunch of six and seven year old girls running around the house screaming just doesn't really seem like a good time to me. I'd rather, much rather be in the field. So yeah. Oh, did my wife leave the door open again? Oh boy. Alright, grab that cake. Oh shoot, I left my running lights on. Alright, well what I'll do is I'll take the cake into the kitchen. And then put it in the fridge. Yep, we've done that. Now, close the door. And then we'll shut our lights off. County likes it when I leave when I turn the runner lights on because uh, it's a dually and it's a wide truck. So whatever. I'd rather just leave them off because drains the battery if you forget to turn them off. And I nine times out of ten forget to turn them off. But oh well. All right, so we're in the nine R and. Uh, my employee parked his truck right where I need to go. Actually, just thinking about it, I should grease this tractor up before I head out to the field. But since it's been a few hours since it's been greased. So that's the plan now. This is a 2014 John Deere 9560R. And it's got the auto loads scraper special systems on it. My um, employee, he's going to be doing some uh, videos as well. Uh, his name is Justin, and his YouTube is Redgate Farms. So definitely go check out Redgate, for sure. We're going to have some good stuff coming on the farm. 100% sure. Boy, that door was struggling to get it open. Alright, um, where did I put that grease gun? Is it in the office here? Nope. It's not upstairs, is it? Alright. I don't think it's upstairs. Let me check the cabinet here. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, we got our grease gun. Uh, find a grease fitting here. Pump that up. And then go over here. It's very important you get grease in here. There's a lot of bearings and U joints and all kinds of stuff going on here. Hydraulics. Make sure we're definitely topped up on hydraulic oil, otherwise you're not gonna be able to steer. So it's very important to keep these things well maintained, which I really kind of take pride in is um is maintaining my tractors and stuff. Um, by the looks of things on the gauge, we're okay for hydraulic oil, so we can put the grease gun back now. We don't need any more hydraulic oil. So we'll put that back in the cabinet where it belongs. I'm surprised it's there, because you can never find the grease gun around here. Alright, to the field we go. So it's quite a drive. It's probably oh three or four miles to this field. So uh, I might cut and then uh, pick up where we left off once we get to the field. Real quick, this is all amongst our land here. Those oats to the right, they're mine. That field to the left, that's mine. So yeah, we're just... Uh, Rolling down here. 
animal auctions to the right. That's an old grain elevator. To, my, to the best of my knowledge, it's out of commission. It's kind of a shame because that's a nice grain elevator. So yeah, I wonder if he's planting the field now. The 9RX isn't there anymore. So what did he do? Did he park his truck at the at the farm and then walk down here? I mean, I guess that kind of makes sense if he's going to be driving the 9RX home, but at the same time, at the same time, that's quite a long walk, like that's at least a mile. Alright, well we're not too far from the field now, you can see it, it's that big green field up ahead. Hold on, I just got a text here. Um, and I'll text them back once we get to the, once we get to the field we'll text them back, because I'm not going to text and drive. This is, uh, one of my more favorite places. That to the right's uh, mine, that to the left is mine. Um, so yeah. We're just gonna roll up on the field here. Alright. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit the hydraulics to unfold the disc and I'm gonna bring up my texts on the phone here. This planter is acting up like crap, potentially. Um, all right. It's not opening right, making a weird noise. Huh. I wonder what's up with that. All right, I think I know what's wrong with it. Yeah, hold on. Uh, I'm thinking, let me just quickly check here while I'm thinking. Um. All these discs look okay. I think it's because it's not greased. It could be for sure because it's not greased. Um, let me go jump back up in the tractor and I'll text them back. It probably needs probably needs grease. All right. So let's pull up into the pull up into the field here. Alright. Lower the disc. Hold on, let me range down here. Alright, let's get the drone out and just kind of do a flyover. Yep, we're looking good here. I like flying the drone because it can... I have this like really expensive drone that's like a orbital drone. So it'll actually orbit around the tractor gives me kind of a third person view almost like you're playing farm sim so it's really really nice for that thing was is it cost like eight hundred dollars so it was expensive oh shoot we're missing some nope that's not the case hmm What else could it be? Wait, what? All the... All the fittings are showing blue? Huh. What the... I'm gonna tell him. Okay. I'm not sure what that 
would or would be so I'd say call deer. Alright, let's see where he's at here. So he's over by 39. I'm tempted to take it and have it looked at and see if they can get me something else and just put it under your account. Yeah, that's fine. Alright. Well, that's problematic because we're running DB90s for our, all our fields because we got a lot of land. So the problem is, is if one of those planters goes down, we can only plant at 90 feet as opposed to um, 180 feet. So um, that's problem. That's a problem because we need both planters up for the amount of land. We um, so that's, that's not good. Um, because it should be covered as far as deer goes. Yeah, we paid about $200,000 a piece for them. They should be under warranty. Yeah, they should be under uh warranty 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 how the heck do you spell warranty i don't know give me a moment here guys i'm trying to think not sure if i spelt that right All right. All right. All right, we're rolling here. We're doing good. I like this 9R though. It's this is my favorite. Justin likes 9RXs. He likes his tracks. I like my wheels. And uh, we didn't get the big 9RX. We didn't get the 620. I think we got a 570, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll have to see. He's the one that basically runs the 9RX most of the time. I hardly ever run the 9RX. But I'm, uh, we're just on the edge of Burkesville, Iowa here. It's basically where we're at. This field's not too big. This is basically, oh, about 60, 70 acres. I'm not exactly sure how much it is, but it's not a big, big field. Um, some of our biggest fields are about 200 acres. And that's 39 and 38, I believe. So, hey, I need you to send me $650. All right, well, I guess I'll be right back, guys. I gotta call the bank and have them transfer the money over. All right, well, I just sent him the money. So, for some reason, the bank won't let me send $50 from a farm account to his account, so that's kind of weird, but oh well. Another thing I'm just trying to figure out here is I'm trying to figure out which way I should go for GPS. Like right now I'm doing the headlands, obviously. Um, thinking north south, but have to see. But 
But yeah, this this oilseed radish, it creates a very very nice seed bed for corn. Um, adds a beautiful seed bed, makes everything work just great, and um, it kind of puts a bit of nitrogen into the ground too. And then it also is good for soil conservation too. So. That's why I like it. Not many farmers in the area do it, but I love it. It's a natural way to put more nitrogen into the ground, and it acts as a cover crop. Most guys, they do a lot of winter wheat and winter barley. I do uh, after soy, or before soybeans, so after corn I plant, um, winter oats most times so we're gonna let that up and I'm gonna set up a GPS track and we'll be back alright we're back so we're just on GPS now uh, got a GPS track set up so yeah we're just rolling away here I'm going to text him and see how he made out with that deer. I'll have to see here. Usually our deer dealership is relatively decent. One thing I love about this 9R, it's uh, it's got a geared turbo, and you hear that kind of whine. I just love the way that thing sounds. So yeah, we're just going to drop this down here and keep disking. Oh, what was that? Hold on. I just heard a loud thud. I might want to check to see if I did. I don't want to hit a rock and wreck something. Oh, dang it. Hit a rock and damage the blade. So, I'm going to have to call my wife, have her come pick me up, because I'm sure Justin's, um, I'm having, I don't know, Justin's having issues with the planter, so I'm not going to call him, I'm going to call my wife. So, uh, I guess we'll, I'll be back. All right, we're back at the farm here. Uh, come on. Stupid door, come on. I have no time to mess around with you. That door is shifted, I swear. Anyway, so we're back here. Uh, pick up a couple spare disc blades. Wait a minute, my phone just buzzed. Hold on. I'm having trouble with the hose, so I'm assuming a hydraulic hose, and I'm out of seed corn. Um, well, these are our two silos here. We have a seed silo and a fertilizer silo. That's We have it marked off to be sure of that, so it doesn't get mixed up. Over here, this is a hybrid of seed. Obviously, we have a lot of it. Um, so I'll tell them to come grab some of this. This is uh, the Pioneer uh, seed. We, nope, we have a pile of mm, 
No, that's not. Uh, corn seed at the farm. Alright, so let me throw these discs in the back here. Alright. Turn the stupid marker lights on, even though I'll probably forget to put them on. So, we're going to have to figure something out here. Um, by the way, did, did he, did I close that door or did he, who was the last person? I think, did he leave the door open? <laughs> somebody here, I don't know who, somebody left the door open. Oh, too many things going on, not enough time to do them. I'm serious. It's driving me insane. Sometimes makes you wonder why you want to be a farmer. So I'm going to go out the back entrance so because I don't feel like driving slow through my farm there. So. Just got to make sure I shut this gate. Front gate we leave open because we're always using that gate. But this gate we always want to close because we hardly ever use This Cummins gets up and goes. I should slow down though. It's got a G56 manual in it. No, I swear, if we get stopped by a train, I'm gonna go insane here. Looks like we're in the clear though. he's making out. He's got his pickup there. He must still be, he's, he's got a planter there and he's got his pickup there. I can't see if he's got a seed tender or not. Hold on. see what he's got over here. Now Justin has a bit of a temper so we're just gonna kind of leave him alone there. Alright so I got my binoculars out. He's running I assume back to the farm with the seed tender. Yeah he's got his foot into it. He's oh wait. What's he stop for? I don't know. So that's the 9RX over there. Oh wait, now what's he doing? Now he's pulling back into the field again. I don't know, I'm a, I got my own problems to sort out. Yeah, we're going to get over to the field, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the video, because it's going to be a pain trying to uh, replace those uh, disc shanks, because they're about five rows in, so... We're just kind of going along here. Here you kind of get to see the, the drive to the field. Pretty country up here. Oh. Right, we're 
just coming up on the field here. Alright, I'm just going to cross over here. I'm going to park it. But, uh, yeah. I know today's been a bit chaotic, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And until I see you guys again, see ya.